Hi! Um, just updating on my video blog here. Um, really tired, in case you couldn't tell. Do I look tired? Um, I've been up super early today because I got up at 5 a.m. because I couldn't sleep anymore because I went to bed at probably about like 8 p.m. last night because I was really, really tired. So I got up at 5 a.m. and just like sat around for a really long time and <laughs> until breakfast started and today was really awesome. Um, I signed up to go to an event um, which was a harbor cruise um, at Sydney Harbor and it was so cool. So I went with like the Student Development International Office. Um, all the other people there were generally um, people who were doing like their postgraduate degrees or like master's degrees so they're like quite a bit older than me. So it was kind of like weird because like I want to make friends who are like I guess undergrads or like gonna be in my classes and stuff and like gonna want to go explore Sydney not people who are like master's students but whatever um they were really nice um they're from all these like crazy random places like all these random places in South America and like Fiji and Indonesia and Singapore and Tuvalu if I'm saying that right um pretty crazy I have like never met people from there before, which is really cool. Um, out of like the entire group of about 50 people, I was the only person from the US and everyone was from either Asia or South America or like Oceania area, except for me and this one other girl from Switzerland who was doing her postgraduate work here. Um, so it was, I mean, it was really cool. Um, I was so excited to see the harbor. Like when I showed up at Circular Key, which is spelled like Key is spelled like Q U a Y, but it's pronounced key. So I went to Circular Key, we got some lunch, and I was so excited to see the Opera House and the Harbor Bridge. Like, I was so excited, because like, you see it on postcards, you see it in movies, and like, there it is, and it looks exactly like it does in movies and postcards and all that good stuff. So I was so excited. So we went out on this boat on a Captain Cook cruise, I guess. So it went like all through the harbor. And I was under the impression that the harbor was just like, oh, that one little area where you have like, oh, the opera house and the bridge and like circular keys over here. But the harbor itself was like massive. So we got on the boat and we went around um, the whole harbor and they like had this little tour guide thing saying what everything was. but. Um, I mean, I paid attention to some of the stuff, but because I don't know much of the history of Australia, I'm not like, oh yeah, I remember learning about that. Like I would be, say, like in Boston, for example, if I went on tour of Boston, I'd be like, oh yeah, I know about that. But I really have like no clue. Um, but all these like ports and things and the whole, how Australia was basically started because the British kind of dumped all their convicts in Australia. And they ended up like staying here because they couldn't pay their own way back to England. That was the only way that you get back to England. So that's how Australia was kind of started. Um, that's pretty much like all I've really learned about it. I mean, I learned a lot of stuff today, but I can't like recall facts because it's not really super familiar to me at the moment. Um, but Opera House, so cool. Can't wait to go over and take a tour of it. Um, they're doing a tour again on Sunday. But I don't think I'm going to go because, like, I don't want to do everything in the first week. Like, what well, I've been here three days and I've already done, like, a ton of stuff. So I don't want to, I want to spread it out and, you know, do it with a lot of other people too when everyone else shows up, which hopefully will be soon. Um, so also, so after the tour, we went on a walking tour of the this area called the Rocks. So the Rocks... Um, I guess is like the area where Sydney first started. Like it's the oldest part of Sydney, so it's like super historic, and all the be buildings are really beautiful, and the architecture is really beautiful, and like there's like cobblestone pathways, and like all these little shops and cottages and warehouses and things like that. Um, I have pictures on my Facebook, so if you want to go take a look at those, they're on my Facebook. Um, but it was really cool. I mean, the tour was kind of long, and I was kind of really tired because I got up at five in the morning. Um, but it was, it was really cool. We went to like a church at the end. It was cool. So after that, I took a bus back here to UNSW and then I ate dinner 
and then I just got back from the common room where we watched some rugby. Um, we, it's like this final match between Queensland, which is the state just north of New South Wales where Sydney is. So I'm in New South Wales right now, um, but it was New South Wales for Sydney for the... I keep forgetting the name of it because I want to call it State of the Union, but it's not called that. Hold on. I'm going to figure this out. It is called State of Origin, but I keep wanting to call it State of the Union because state is in there. Um, so State of Origin. So it's this big, huge rugby, ma rugby match between Queensland and New South Wales. And it's three games. So they play the first game in New South Wales. And New South Wales usually wins that because they have home field advantage. And then the second game is played in Queensland. And Queensland usually wins that one because they have home time advantage. And then the third one is played in, guessing. Is it Victoria or Vi Victoria? I'm not entirely sure where that is, but it's like neutral. So it's like the dis they call it the decider. So they had to play the decider this year, and Queensland won. New South Wales lost. Um, I guess it's Queensland is the Maroons, I want to say, and New South Wales is the Blues. So I'm like, cool, blue. Blue's my favorite color, so it all works out. Um, I've never watched rugby before, but it was really cool. It looks really dangerous. Um, it's like guys just kick each other in the face with their cleats and they don't have pads. They have like mouth guards, I guess. But it looks really dangerous to me. Um, I mean, it's really cool and like really fast moving. And they play two 40 minute halves and it's done. So I don't know. People are, the fans looked like pretty crazy. Um, I didn't go to like a pub or anything to go or a sports bar or to go watch it. I just watched it here. Um, so it was really cool. I mean, I just got over and I'm really tired, but it was cool to watch that. Um, tomorrow, plans for tomorrow, um, I'm taking a campus tour in the morning. Um, I haven't really taken a campus tour yet, which I think is a good idea, considering the only touring of campus I've done is, like, by myself, walking around, and I don't know where anything is. So, I think it'll be a good idea to take a tour. Maybe there'll be people there that I can meet who are like undergrad, maybe. I don't know. I don't know where all the undergrads are. I didn't want them to show up because I don't have people to be friends with. Um, because there's like no one here yet. I know I've said that like 10 times, but there's really no one here to make friends with yet. Um, it's fun. I can explore on my own. And then tomorrow I'm going to go and sign up for the gym because that's a good idea. Um, it is kind of expensive, but like I like going to the gym and like... I might go crazy if I don't work out and I can't run quite yet, give it another month, then I should be able to like run like for like 10 minutes. So in the meantime, I should probably join the gym. It is kind of expensive, but I've heard it's really good. So I'm going to go over there and like take a tour, I guess, first. Like I'll just like ask whoever's at the front desk and then I will see what the deal is with that. Apparently I might be able to get a discount because I'm in Shalom College. So that would be cool. Um, that's really the plans for tomorrow. I might try to, like, take a nap or something or, like, watch a movie because I guess on Friday I have to go to orientation from, like, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. But I don't think I'm going to stay for the whole thing because, like, they're like, oh, yeah, there's a whole section about how to get a job in Sydney. And I'm like, well, I can't really get a job in Sydney because I'm on a visa to be here. So, I don't know. I'll just, like, kind of pick and choose or, like, go in and out of the orientation program. So... We'll see how that goes, but I don't really have time on Friday to, like, do anything, but I'm looking forward to maybe, like, going back down to the beach at some point, which is, I was saying it before I came here, I was saying Coogee Beach, because it's spelled C-O-O-G-E-E, -E. so I'd be like, oh, it's Coogee Beach, turns out it's Coogee, so you go to Coogee Beach, and it's not Bondi Beach, it's Bondi Beach, so just, like, weird pronunciation things. Also, today I learned that instead of saying, like, oh, it's, oh, if a sports team wins, like, a lot of games in a row, it's not a dynasty, it's, like, a dynasty. What? Okay, that's cool. So, all those weird little Aussie things. I have my little Aussie book with all the slang, which I haven't heard a lot of yet. It's kind of disappointing. I haven't seen Kangaroo yet either, so I'll be on the lookout for Koala, too in kangaroos. So, pretty exciting, um, but Sydney's great. I really like it. Just the weather is so nice. People are so nice. Um, I am really looking forward to meeting other people, though, when everyone else gets here.
but there's a coffee festival on Sunday. Pretty excited for that. It's called the Aroma Festival, and they just have like a bunch of stalls that have coffee. And I mean, you can like buy coffee and buy food, and it's like right on the harbor. It's probably really pretty, so I'll probably go to that just like by myself because there's like no one here. But uh, it's fine. I took the bus there today, so I will take the bus there again. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed, even though it is only um, 10.23 right now, but still, I like go to bed really early, but. All right, well, looking forward to more adventures. Bye.